Hey troops, Roxy here and welcome to Roxy Plays Games and welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. Before I get into today's video I want to do my usual thank you, so thank you for everyone who has subscribed to the channel and thank you for everyone who has um, liked my previous video. So I said it back to front today didn't I? I just realised what I'd done there. Um, yes, thank you for everyone who has liked and subscribed. Uh, it is as always, really, really appreciated. Uh, right, we are back in Kerbal Space Program. Last episode, uh, we managed to get a, a probe up into space. <coughs> oh, why has my throat gone all croaky? Why is it every time I start recording, my throat goes all croaky? I don't know. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, we've got a, a probe up into space. And in this episode, we are going to get a probe into orbit. Um, obviously try and complete a contract doing that and also gather some more science so first things first let's have a look at what we've got we have got this upgraded so we can have up to seven contracts so let's see what we've got here early space program reach a suborbital trajectory and return uncrewed we'll grab you um satellites first satellite <clears throat> which first satellite into I'm not sure. Mm. We'll have a look at that in a second. I don't. My fact, I'm going to grab it anyway. I don't know if a, a probe is classed as a satellite, or if a satellite has to have something specific on it. So I'm going to grab it anyway. Uh, we're not doing crude. Uh, Comnet relay. Place a relay. Right, we're not doing relays yet. Cross belt, cross the radiation belt, we should be able to do today. Uh, exploration plus orbit curbing is what we're going to aim to do today. Uh, Kerbal achievement. Uh, establish stable orbit. Yep, we can do that. Uh, and we're not going to do any part testing. So we've got a few. Uh, missions here the only one that I'm not sure about is the first satellite whether a probe is classed as a satellite or whether a satellite has to have something specific on it uh, we shall have a look at in a second so oh, right so we've got our missions uh, quick recap um, our admin we've got to boldly go which is going to give us some extra funds for transmitting or recovering science in new biomes and local science is giving us 20% bonus to KSC science. Um, so that's that. Um, most of the buildings have been upgraded to level 1. Apart from the space pane, hangar, um, astronaut complex we don't need right now. Because we're not going to be doing any astronauts. However, um, I am now a pilot, so I just kept this surname of the character that was here. I just changed the first name to Roxy, so I'm now Roxy Weber. Um, and we've got Princess Abella Bot is our first engineer. So if you would like to be um, any of my currently active crew or applicants, all you need to do is uh, tell me whether you want to be a pilot, a scientist or an engineer male or female um, and what name you would like to be called if you just have one name like i've got roxy then i'll keep this surname unless you really don't want to have it that and then just give me two names otherwise just give me the two names so yeah just let me know in the comments below um, alternatively you can join my discord channel and um message me in there and tell me what you want to uh, to do or what you want to be sorry I can change it from male to female as well, so don't worry too much about um, having a look and picking one specific that you want to change. Just tell me what profession, what uh, sex, and what name. Right, let's get into the vehicle assembly bay. Because we need to get our probe going up into space. Oh, and the timer. One day, one hour. Um... For those you haven't seen in the last episode, I've put a little card here. Um, I did some beta testing for a game called New World. Um, that launches in one day and one hour. So that will be coming to the channel. 
uh, you will be happy to know. Right, um, this is a ship that I was playing around with earlier, and that's not the one I want to use. We want to uh, Kerbal Orbiter, Kerbin Orbiter. Uh, uh, I'm missing bits on this, am I? Right. <clears throat> So I've saved a bit of time um, by pre-constructing some rockets uh, just so that uh, I didn't spend 10 hours messing around here. But essentially what I have got here is three Probodobodyne hex cores and they're all programmed slightly different. Let me just take that off, put you there for a second. Underneath is a bunch of batteries. Um, and the battery electric charge, we've got 1300. That's more than enough for what we're doing. Uh, I've, gone in, uh, I've gone in excess of what we need rather than not having enough um, running out. Uh, that goes for fuel and battery power. Uh, so we've got a, uh, three probodobodynes. The first probodobodyne is collecting might and telemetry. Uh, the second probodobodyne is uh, doing nothing because um, we're going to have the rest of it on and it's only might and light that's extra uh, but what we are using these for is the data capacity which I didn't upgrade this one uh, and we need to turn off these here which I didn't do in the testings so they are on non so data capacity 8 megabytes, uh, data capacity 8 megabytes, and data capacity 8 megabytes, but we've got a telemetry and a might report getting done on them. So that's what we got there. Let me put you back on, put you back in 8 times symmetry. So we've got maximum amount of uh, battery recharge rate. Let me move you down a touch. Uh, about there, that's fine. Uh, what else have we got on here? I've got three parachutes, one um, normal parachute and then two radial, just because I want to bring this back. Why do I want to bring it back? Well, oh, actually, I don't have... Oh, no, I don't have on here. Let me take you off. Uh, oh, right there. I'm looking at something that we don't even have unlocked yet. Derp. Um, in here, uh, we have got uh, two mystery goos. We've got the Geiger counter, th um, thermometer, and a barometer. Uh, and we've also got an antenna. So they are ready to go. Um, so what's going to be coming back is this. This is coming back like this. And the reason why I've put these fins here upside down is to hopefully help with stability going in that direction, going downwards, rather than it flipping over and go in parachute first like a bullet and everything burning up and exploding so hopefully this will be fine so this is all the sites that we've got on lots ah oh, you know something you know something you know something let me this is the Kerbal Orbiter Science Collector Mark 1 let me save you because I've just realised something Uh, we have 140 science and I haven't even gathered or grabbed some more science bits. Basic science, we can grab the science junior. So let's grab you. Uh, what else should we get? <clears throat> Bigger heat shield might be useful. Let's grab you. And... General construction, I think we'll grab as well. Yes, that looks good. Uh, right, let's go back into here. I've got all about the uh, Science Junior unlock. I've done literally nothing since last episode except do some testing to see what I needed and get everything pre built, which apparently I didn't completely get pre built. Right, so this is what we're coming back with. Um, we want to put on um, a science junior. So let me 
take Q off there, put the Sykes Jr. on, plant Q back on there, plant Q back on there. Um, we've also unlocked the radar alt altimeter, which will be getting used uh, when we do our scan sats. I'm not sure whether I'll get it done in this episode or not. Um, but yeah, that's uh, ready to go. Now, that's the only... Oh, and we've got this here. We'll use these two together. Because this takes um, seven days to complete. <laughs> um, this doesn't tell you how long it takes. Um, Scansat stuff doesn't give you that information, unfortunately. I guess it, it's dependent on... Um, your altitude and um, whether it's actually working or not but either way that's going to take seven days so we'll have these two going together rather than putting this one on now um, and I have got furring on this haven't I um, yes I have so let's get the furring uh, on the go here Which is going to be really tricky. There we go. What's going on there? What, what's going on here? Right, can we just... There we go. Uh, right, I want this in clamshell five sides. Cool beans. Right, let's have a look at our delta V. 1.33 for our um, initial thrust, going up to 1.52. Uh, we've got oodles of delta V. We've actually got too much delta V, but I would sooner have too much than not enough. So I can play around. I could potentially do a a low orbit and then a high orbit but I don't want to do that in case I get a mission for something in high space and I do that high space and then can't pick it up so we'll just leave it as it is let's save I think ladies and gentlemen we have our Kerbin Orbiter Mark 1 uh, Science Collector ready to go let's uh, launch and have a look I've got oodles of messages um, that I need to have a quick read of in a second. Right, let's get SAS on. Um, brought all, all the way up and I've just noticed my, my staging is completely messed up here so let's get this all sorted out quickly it's looking a little bit better um, so they're going to go first then that's going to go just double check make sure that that's all looking still fine yep that's all looking good um, now we are going to be doing a normal uh, orbit. I'm not too worried about getting it perfect. We are literally just, just going to be gathering some science. So what we can do, these are all stopped at the moment. They don't need to be activated until we're in space. So there's no point in me turning them on and wasting battery power uh, unnecessarily. So let's um, launch. So we'll get it up to oh, 50, 60... And then we will uh, lean it over a touch and then put you on prograde and then we're just going to sit back. Beautiful, beautiful Bernie. Uh, 
on, get ready to stage. There we go. Stage one go. Ooh, that was a bit of an explosion going on there. So I'm looking at my apoapsis height and time to apoapsis and I will adjust bits and pieces where I need to. I'm going to keep this to around about a minute or there or thereabouts. Just let it kind of tip over slowly. And as this time goes up I'll just re reduce throttle slightly. I don't want this getting too high because otherwise the apoapsis um, will be higher and higher and higher and we want this periapsis um, height to decrease as quickly as possible. So this is just fine tuning, you don't need to be this uh, finicky if you don't want to. And we're going to get to, I don't know, 80? I thought that's to say, uh, 75 to 80 kilometers, there or thereabouts. Dropping the throttle a little bit more. <coughs> so this is a slower way of getting up the apoapsis height but it does help get the periapsis height uh, reduced a lot better so you're not then suddenly having to do a massive massive burn to sort that out um, which can be a little bit of a pain drop it a little bit more the reason why I'm keeping it at a minute is because if you get it too low and then it suddenly flips over not the rocket but the time uh, you then end up um, going back down and there's the Mun. Hello Mun. We will be seeing you shortly, not today unfortunately, but in an upcoming episode. won't be too long until we're uh, at that point. Right, we're over a minute here so I'm just going to reduce my thrust a bit more. I'm happy for it to come down. If it gets to like 45 then obviously we're going too slow. Um, I definitely want it, don't want it dropping down to zero until we're uh, where we want to be. Uh, it will get to a point where when you kind of it flips around the um, this point here when it goes past the apoapsis, it'll flip around. But it's uh, kind of getting a little bit too technical. So this is looking good. This is looking good, guys. Coming down a touch. This is this is going to be a nice orbit, you know. It's going to be a very nice orbit. Just playing with the throttle. It's kind of on nothing. Something I need to be aware of, obviously, with Kerbalism. Let me just pause you there a second so I don't miss this. With Kerbalism, it adds in ignitions. So it's not, you know, before in stock, you could just turn it on and off, turn it on and off, turn it on and off um, with no penalties. Whereas now, um, two things that you have is you have a estimated burn time before the engine will fail. So we've got about two minutes, 22 seconds of burn time before this engine will fail. It may fail before, it may fail after, but that's an estimated burn time before this uh, may fail under reliability. And also the number of ignition. So when you turn the engine off and then you turn it back on again, that ignites the engine up, it uses up an ignition. Again, the ignitions can fail uh, at any point. Uh, and the closer you get to zero, the closer you are uh, getting to the chance of where it could fail. So um, I just need to be cautious of that. Let's resume flight. We've got four ignitions. So that's why I'm reducing it rather than turning it off and on like I used to um, in stock I'm just reducing the uh, the throttle and that's just going to preserve life on my ignitions right we should see the camera angle flip over in a second once our periapsis 
height gets out of the negative. Anytime around about now. Right, our, I'm going to get the apple, there it goes, apple axis R8 to around about 70, 75. Keep that periapsis going up. Um, and then we will cut our engines around about now. <coughs> and then we'll just get up a little bit closer to our apple axis and then we'll just burn to get the periapsis a bit higher. So let's just speed up time a touch. Still haven't turned anything on yet. I'm leaving it all until we're uh, where we want to be. Where's the sun? Uh, there's the sun there. Okay. What I should have done, thinking about it, is I should have launched at sunrise and then I would have had more sun exposure for this uh, light. But we should be okay. Right, we're now officially in space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy my bearing. Get rid of that. Breaks away nicely. Uh, we are going to um, continue with our acceleration. We want to get this to about a minute. Three, two, one. It's about there. Uh, we're on pro grade, so let's just do a little bit of a burn and get this up. That'll do. I'm happy with that. Doesn't need to be anything better. Doesn't need to be a perfect orbit. Uh, and we've still got loads of fuel left, and we've also got all of the fuel in this um, upper stage here and this is what i'm going to use to uh, de-orbit um although i've probably got enough fuel here to de-orbit to be honest um right we don't have any sun exposure do we because i didn't plan this correctly or better betterly <laughs> didn't plan it better um however let's um open these up got our antenna on oh i did put this on I thought I didn't put this on. I'm actually going to um, take that off. I'm not going to be using that. Um, which was the mag magnetometer. Yeah, we're going to use that when I put up the um, scan sat. So that's invalid, so that doesn't need to be on. Radiation scan can run. Mites and scan can unmet requirement. Ah, inclination, isn't it? I bet you. Inclination. Yep. Yeah. Right, so I can't do a mite. Uh, telemetry report. It's done. Material study. Uh, we haven't done. So that can run. Uh, mystery goo. Can go. And temperature scan is now finished. We only had like 0.1 to go on that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is us gathering science. So I'm just going to leave this running round now. Um, now the material study can only do one go. And uh, I'll catch up with you when we get a little bit closer. Cool beans. Well, that was um, a little while, I must admit, but we have collected all the science that we can. Obviously, the atmospheric uh, pressure scan, I didn't need to have this on because that can only be done uh, in the atmosphere. Um, and I've already collected bits of that. The mic needed to be on a certain inclination, which I'm not on. I could potentially change that inclination and collect some mic. But I'll be able to do that on um, our next launch uh, when we send up our scan sat. Um, I'll do a mite at the same time as well as the magne magnetometer. Magnetometer? Uh, that one. Um, material studies we've gathered, mystery goo we've gathered, temperature scan we have gathered. So we are pretty much good to go. So what I'm going to do 
is I am going to face a retrograde and we're going to deorbit this beast. Um, I'm also going to oh, open you back up. Uh, I need to change my actions on the, this for the next vessel. Uh, where are you? Turn you back off. I swear I could just I just closed this or retracted this. Sorry, retract antenna. There we go. Got all of my action groups all messed up there. Right, so let's uh, do a little bit of a burn here. So that's that ready to be decoupled. Where are we in the world? Right, we've just gone past the uh, space station. So I'm going to oh, get back on there, turn you around. Got way too much fuel on this, way too much. But you know of it, I'm not too fussed. Right, let's uh, decouple you. And then put ourselves back onto retrograde. I'm not bothered where I land now, so I'm just going to get this down to about 35. Yep, that'll do. And then we're going to turn to here and decouple you. Put you back onto retrograde. And then what I want to do is I want to configure my parachutes for landing. So toggle information. We're going to go altitude. This is the real shoots um, mod. And let's put you at initially to come on or pre-deploy at 10,000 and to deploy at 1,500. That's plenty of time there. And then these ones, toggle info, altitude. Um, we will pre-deploy at 5,000 and then deploy at 700 meters and because there's two of them uh, on the same action group we can do copy to other shoots so we don't have to click on both of them that's that done now they're all ready to go and um, providing these fins do the job and this heat shield holds out we will be uh, good for our landing so let's speed up time Go. Let's go four times. Where are we going to come down? Obviously, it's not showing at the moment, hitting the ground, but now that we're in the atmosphere, the periapsis is coming down. So it's going to probably be somewhere around here, the opposite side of the world. Right, can't really do much now until we are down uh what's our science on 29.4 plus we've got the mystery goo and the um science junior which are the fact does that transmit no storage space yeah that can't transmit it's actual an actual um What's the word I'm looking for? Like it, like like the mystery goo. I'm guessing because it's saying no, no storage space. Right here we go. We got our burn on. I've got a little bit of heat going on in the Science Junior, but we should be okay. Going fast, but slowing down. Where's that going to bring us down? Oh, somewhere over here. Not been here before. I don't think. Right, 
and we're just going to let the natural aerodynamics control the ship now. Coming up to 10,000, the uh, first parachute should be pre uh, deploying soon. Oh, I didn't arm them, did I? Derp. Probably help if I actually armed it. Nugget. I set it all up and didn't actually press the uh, the arm button. Don't think. Oh, I can gather a bit of that. Um, that's full. No storage space, so you can come off, and that's running. All right, we can gather a little bit of um, flying low over the grasslands. Okay, that's good news. Gather a little bit of that up. A little bit of extra science. Not a lot, but you know, every little helps. Let's get down to the ground. I actually think I'll call it an end of an episode here because it's going to be over half an hour and to do what I need to do next is going to take probably 40, 50 minutes if not longer. So yeah, I think I'll call it an end of an episode once we recover. Oh, that was a um, bit of an explosion then. I think that's because I have my warp still up. Uh, either way, we are down. Oh, I've got a bit more collection to do. Let's do these. Might as well. A bit more science. Uh, can we do an atmospheric scan here? Shrouded. What does that mean? Is that because this is closed? Ah, oh, there we go. Let's retract you. Or, um, not retract, um, extend you. And then let's speed up time again. A bit more science from our atmospheric pressure scan. Done, done, done. Everything's all done. That's put our science way up there. 58.1 plus whatever we return. Let's recover vessel. Cool, right, so let's go OK on new, next to new, done, done. And that is, look at that, we're on 128.7 sites and we've got 670,000 funds. Flip flops is my new currency. Cool, well, I am going to call it an end of an episode here and then in the next episode we will discuss what we're going to do. But essentially, uh, we're going to be doing a polar orbit. So rather than equatorial orbit which is what i've been kind of doing going around the equator um in that direction left to right uh, we're going to be going in a polar orbit so we're kind of going around in this direction like this from pole to pole all the way around um we're going to put our scan sat um equipment on a probe we'll probably put two probes up um, with different bits of equipment on um, gathering more science essentially and doing the mapping for our um, our scan sat here cool right well thanks for watching everyone i hope you have enjoyed this episode uh, if you have don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when new videos come out do it do it now stay safe everyone and Goodbye.